Hey guys, Robert Ham here with Robert Ham Photography. Catch me over on Twitter at Rob Ham Photo. You can find me on Facebook as well as YouTube at backslash Robert Ham Photography. Hey, today we're just going to answer a real quick question. Which exports faster and how well does it stack up the Surface Pro when compared to the MacBook Pro with the Retina display? Now, I'll go over all the stats that I'm running, but as you can see back here, um, I've got a couple of different devices. I've got my Surface Pro right here. I've got my MacBook Pro and I'm also running the out over there. The Surface Pro is a device that many photographers might find quite useful if they choose to carry with them, but some of them just don't know. Uh, I mean, who knows when you're, when you're looking at a new new device, whether or not it's really going to stack up and how well it works. For those of you that don't want to stick around and actually see the results, here's the results right there. Uh, the Surface Pro exporting the exact same file uh, as the MacBook Pro with the Retina display exports it in about 15 seconds. And I'm talking about a 15 megabyte file, so about one megabyte a second is what we're looking at. Um, the MacBook Pro takes about six seconds to export that. Now, I've tried my tests and everything else, and multiple files um, kind of bog both of them down a little bit longer. But when you're doing anything, I think up to you know, 50 to 100 photos, I've seen that it doesn't really particularly uh, matter too much. It stays pretty much true to that. So if you're thinking about it, you can then go ahead and say, if I'm going to export a um, uh, 10 megabyte uh, or 10, 15 megabyte files, then you can very easily say if one megabyte file is uh, 15 or 5 or 6 seconds for the MacBook Pro, 10 would be 60 seconds. You know, on the surface, it's twice that. So 10, 15 megabyte files roughly on the MacBook Pro, about a minute. 10, 15 megabyte files roughly on the Surface Pro 3, you're going to be looking at closer to 2 minutes. And really, that's not a lot to waste um, when you're thinking about it. But some of our file sizes, when we're building from RAW to JPEGs, are pretty big. Some of those file sizes, when you're shooting the Canons and stuff, can get up there several hundred megabytes a pop. And when you get into that, you're moving from 6, 15, 32. You might even be somewhere between a minute of file. It just depends on how you do your processing. So it's something to keep in mind. Anyway, for those of you who are interested, here's the results. All right, so here we have two identical files. Here we've got the MacBook Pro display, Core i7 quad-core processor, eight gigs of RAM, 256 gigabyte hard drive, and a one gig NVIDIA as a graphics card. The Surface Pro 3 is, uh, you know, a Core i7. It's a dual-core processor, although it does have four logical threads. Um, 256 gigabyte uh, hard drive, 8 gigs of RAM as well. See, we're dealing with a 14.73 megabyte RAW file. This is from an Olympus, um, which is a nice little Olympus camera, one of the cameras I shoot with. And then over here, you can see again, they're actually the same file. The reason I have the same file is because these Lightroom libraries, uh, I import to either one of them. It doesn't matter. I import all my photos to one computer, and then at a certain time, I go ahead and I build um, a library after I've gone and done my sorting. I archive all the raw images, but then I just work with an exported library or an exported catalog in order to do all of my edits, and then I just sync them between both using an SD card. Okay, so real quickly, here's what we're going to do. We're just going to see exactly how long this takes. Now, um, I'm going to try to push the buttons at the same time for you, um, but uh, we really are just going to do uh, do it a slightly. Slightly right here. What I'm gonna do, you may not be able to see it, I'm just gonna use my Citizen Watch, and uh, I'll give you a countdown on just how long it takes in order to do an export of just, um, you know, one photo. Um, so, as we're getting ready to have that begin, okay, and take this one right here, export, uh, just, I'm gonna export uh, with previous, okay, um, we're building well, actually, I'm going to go ahead and stop that because I didn't want it to start right then. Let's go right here. We're going to export. And we're going to build, burn a full-size JPEG. But actually, we're going to export to hard drive. And desktop untitled export. That's fine. 100%. No resizing. Resolution 240. Sharpen watermark. Nothing. Do nothing. Okay. On my go, I'm going to click. When I click it, you're going to hear. Okay. Okay, sorry. Here we go again. Three, two, one. And I'm going to stop it once I actually see the bar right here. Go to the end and hear it. Okay, so it looks like we were six seconds. Okay. 
Same thing over here, we're gonna move, we're gonna see how long it takes the Lightroom to uh, on here to export. We're just gonna right click, export, export. Let's go this, uh, put in, uh, we're gonna choose desktop, untitled export. There's actually already one there, so I'm just gonna name this J, okay? It's already an untitled export there. I'll name this one J. Doesn't matter, that doesn't change nothing. No renaming of the file, same file name. Um, I'm going to take off the limit file size and just keep my quality all the way up to 100. Um, rotate. I want to do that. I don't want to resize anything. I just want it 250. Nothing. So everything's the same. So um, I'm going to reset this. Sorry if you can't see. There you go. And um, next I'm going to do it right here so you can kind of see my watch maybe. Maybe we can give you a little bit of brightness on the watch. Maybe I should have done that last time anyways. Eh. Right here. Sorry guys. Okay, so we're there. Now we go straight up. Okay, so on three, I'm gonna get it. One, two, three. Oh, damn it! We're gonna need to do that one again. I missed it by just about a second. Okay. So twice as long, 14 seconds in order to export the file. Um, but I don't think that one was the one I want to use. So we're going to redo it. I'm actually going to do this again. I'm just going to right click over here. Export. Because I missed the button for whatever reason. Can't help it. But I missed the actual button because of its placement. It's kind of odd to do this. So we're trying to do it right here. Three, two, one. Ah. Okay, restart. I'm going to tell it to overwrite. Because it's got the same one. I use the same file. Let's try it again. Three, two, one. So now it's doing it. Okay. So when this actually stops, I'm looking for it right here. Um, when this actually stops, that's when I'm going to push this little button. I need to see the bar at full. Okay. So the file's been exported in 15 seconds. So there you've got it. Um, when you're looking at the difference between the two, um, that, you know, that's really not that bad. It's about twice as long in order for Lightroom on the Surface to export as it is on the actual Mac, uh, which is pretty, I mean, it's not too bad. I mean, it's quad core versus dual core, um, eight threads versus four threads, if I'm not mistaken. Either way, they're two different machines, and um, I find them both to be more than adequate for what I'm doing. I don't know why we zoomed in here, but we'll just unzoom for a second. Or zoom out and we will call it a day. Okay, guys, I hope that uh, helps. Hope you enjoyed it.